I we have terrorists that are missed. So that picture is calling it the Schultz theory, and that's what I call it. A hardened Al Qaeda fighter who was Barack, who was Osama. Sorry about that. I got Barack Obama in the mind here. Osama bin Laden, jack of all trades, before setting ten years at Guantanamo, made a military prosecutor's promise he come true when he resurfaced on the field of battle in Yemen, where he is one of Al Qaeda's ter top terror leaders. Ibrahim Al Kwosi. A Sudanese navy who once served as Osama bin Laden's cook, chauffeur, and bookkeeper appears in the latest video this week released by Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula three years after he was relieved from Gitmo. The 55-year-old al Qasi is one of the Al-Qaeda's chapter's top men, according to a Foundation for Demence and Democracy's Long War Journal blog. And as a prosecutor said, one of the reasons... The U.S. is willing to return to Sudan was his confidence in the government of Sudan's program and its confidence Mr. al Kwosi would not represent any kind of threat to the U.S., his attorney Paul Reichler said when al Kwosi was freed. If they had not, they had considered him a threat, they would have not released him. And the military, no, that was his attorney. The military prosecutor said detainee is an admitted veteran jihadist with combat experience beginning in 1990 and it is assessed he would engage on stillies against U.S. forces if released. So this is one of the reasons why many think that uh, Barack Obama should be impeached because he has failed to protect the Constitution and the American people. He keep, kept letting all these guys go, saying they'll go back home, they'll sit on their porch, they'll smoke their hookahs, they'll drink their coffee, They'll meditate on the events of the day. They'll read the Koran, and they'll never, ever, ever engage in terrorism again because they've learned their lesson at the bad old Gitmo. Well, that didn't work out well, did it? This guy's in Yemen working for Al-Qaeda. So I say once again, hopefully next year we can have a president... That will never allow this crap to happen again. We should keep Gitgo open, and frankly, we should take these guys, line them against the wall, and shoot them. You shoot them, they can't terrorize anybody. End of terror. All right, this is a guy from Pittsburgh. I'm done for now. I'm dying in here. I gotta get out of here. Have a good day. Be safe out there, and have fun. Bye bye.